Hi, I'm Donnie Madison. Welcome to the Madhouse. Charlie Madison and I truly appreciate you choosing to spend a bit of time with us today, so thanks. Yes, that felt pretty good, the new introduction from the new place. If you watched the last video, then you'll know a little bit about this place already. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it. In this video, I have a huge announcement that I'm gonna make it towards the end of this video. Something that's really uh, special to me. It makes me feel quite nervous, but I'm gonna share it with you in this video. But before that, I wanna talk a little bit about close-up surfaces, uh, specifically, deceptive practices at the card table. However, I've just moved in here. I don't have a desk yet. So before we get to any of that, let's go build the desk. I'm Daniel Madison. Welcome to the Madhouse. So I really did outgrow my home studio and uh, my plans for the future of my YouTube channel and where I want to take my responsibility for magic and the deceptive arts needs a place like this. I'm obviously going to be talking about it in all my future videos, um, but I've just moved in and before I can even get creative, before I can even work, I need somewhere, somewhere to sit, somewhere to work, somewhere to think. So over there in those two boxes, I bought two of the same table and I'm going to put them together and I've got a really nice surprise for what's going to go across the front. And as soon as that's built, I can sit there, get to work, and get creative. So let's open them up and let's build a desk. And finally the table, the desk is now built. Not yet complete though because I need to put Big Madison banner across the front of that table. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the front of the desk. So happy Charlie, yes. So now I just need to make sure that the banner is secure on the front of the desk. And then I can put all my things on top of it, including Charlie. So we are almost done, almost done. Everything's here that I need. Close-up surfaces are now on my table, playing cards, everything that I need. However, it's a little bit late, so I'm gonna have a break and I'm gonna be back here in the morning to finish off this video but luckily for you that's just a snap of a fingers away welcome back day two in the madhouse the desk is finished but i'm not too happy with it there are things that need changing so over the next few days i'm going to improve and make this desk a much better creative working space but for now i have my close-up surfaces and i can get to my practices now the reason i want to talk about these is it's going to lead us into the next video anybody who's used to learning from me and watching my sleight of hand will be very used to my practice table which is the big half moon blackjack poker kind of table that's all black well in the next video i'm going to teach you i'm going to show you how to build your very own desk i've got all the material over there all we need to do is spend some time and i'll show you exactly how to do it in sleight of hand and the practice of magic and deception with playing cards there's usually an unspoken divide between two different kinds of artists first of all we have the card table sleight of hand artist typically known as the gambler or the mechanic the close-up deception artist this is typically somebody who sits down at his table with his surface and doesn't do much else the other side of that is the magician typically the walk around close-up magician the street magician who will walk around never using a table but having the playing cards always in his hands you usually find that that magician isn't always very good with card table deception can't typically shuffle a deck of playing cards at a card table. Different artists do bleed over and do much together and the line does blur between them over time. My best advice that I give to all of my students is to not tie yourself down to one thing. Don't be just the guy who sits at the table doing card table work. Don't just be the walk around magician, but try and incorporate both into your practices so that you're ready and equipped to deal with any situation. I have so many deceptions for the card table that wouldn't work stood up and the same the other way around. But that creative middle point where both of those can meet 
that offers an incredible opportunity for new creations, new discoveries, and new practices with a deck of playing cards. So if you are a magician or sleight of hand artist and you don't practice at a table, you just do the standard walk around stuff, I implore you, bring it into your practices, bring it into your practices, and bring table work into your repertoire. The same goes for people who just sit down at the table. It's always worthwhile knowing as much as you can about magic and sleight of hand with no tables around where it's just your hands, you stood there in front of your audience, it's just you and them and nowhere to put your playing cards. I really could talk about this for the longest time, especially the idea of bringing both those artists together. But realistically, this is just a segue into the next video, which is building those tables. Let's go take a look at the original table. This is the very card table in question. This is the practice table from my home studio. And in those boxes over there in the distance, I have everything I need, all the material to make not just one more of these, but two more of these tables. One more black one and another green one. Check out this deck of playing cards. This is the Champion Deck series from my good friend Dan Williams. You've seen me use these a few videos back. These are now live on Kickstarter, link in the description. You're gonna see me using these in the next video and I'll talk a little bit more about these playing cards. Just before I sign out, there is one more huge announcement that I wanna make in this video and I'm very nervous about it. It's very emotionally overwhelming and there's no easy way of doing it, but once you see what is inside the next box, all of this will make so much more sense. In this box is the most special, the most precious, the most meaningful and significant gift that I have ever received that has ever been bestowed upon me. This year, 2020, is the year of the Mad Dogs, and it is the year that I became Professor Daniel Madison. Honored, awarded, and gifted to me by Dr. James Carver and Dr. Bill Davis. I am now Professor Daniel Madison. This is so special and so meaningful to me. And I'm gonna be talking about it more in, in future videos. Um, I filmed the whole ceremony and I shared it with the Alliance, and I will share some of it with you too. So if you look on my YouTube channel right now, you'll see a video. It's kind of a little montage of the ceremony that took place in this very building. I haven't shared the whole thing, but I've shared bits and pieces of it so that you can uh, share it with me. It's very surreal and it's very strange, and I've never felt so proud or honored before in my life truly, honestly. I don't want to, I, I've got no room for ego, arrogance, mis, misplaced confidence, I've said all this. Um, so this isn't something that's gonna go to my head and I'm not gonna start asking people to call me Professor, <laughs> Professor Daniel Madison. Um, but for the future of my practices and where I want to take magic and the deceptive arts, with the move into the madhouse and with everything that's going on, this happened at a perfect time and all of this i'm sure it's all making a lot more sense right now if not it certainly will do when you see what i'm going to do with this place and with my content and with future offerings so this means that i am now daniel madison professor of the deceptive arts it's a heavy responsibility but i welcome it and i'm not going to take it lightly and it's certainly not going to go to my head to my brothers, to my fellow professors, Dr. James Carver, Dr. Bill Davis. Thanks, 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 thanks. From the bottom of my everything, thanks. Charlie, don't be silly. Obviously, I'm not gonna walk around wearing this every day. I might some days, but I need somewhere to put this. And this is an integral part of this move of the madhouse, of my future, of our future. So I want this on show, I want it nearby as a reminder of my vision for our future. So let me show you what else is in this big box. This is my good friend, the professor. So we built the desk, now there's one more thing to build, the professor himself, so that he can wear this doctoral robe and stand beside me, always. Charlie, I might need your help with this one. What do you think, Charlie? Ah, uh, don't be jealous. Come on, Professor, let's get you dressed. Professor, 
guys, uh, welcome to the Mud House. So as you can see, there is so much to talk about and it's very difficult to fit it all into one video. So I'm gonna spread that news out. Just make sure you subscribe so that you can follow this journey with me. I'll talk so much more about the hooding, about the Professor Madison. I'll talk so much more about what this place is and what the future of the Madhouse is gonna be. In the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to build those tables. And I have even more mad announcements on the way, but for now, Thanks for being here, Charlie Madison and I. Truly appreciate it. I am Professor Daniel Madison. See you next time. You, you just need us up to me. I can show you my world. We can go through it all. You, you just leave it up to me. Take a trip to the stars. I can show you it all.